What is good, guys? Marvin and Kid here, back again. Welcome back to Indie Showcase, as always, Indie Showcase, the segment where I, your host, Marvin and Kid, review books, indie comic books from various indie companies, from the highest of highs to the lowest of lows, and everything around, as always, guys. And uh, today, on this week, uh, been, we did a not too long ago, previous video we did a book from Image, uh, Scott Schneider's Noctera. Check it out. Go check that out. Uh, here we are doing a book that I helped back from Kickstarter and it is under Radical Visions and it is called Lady Dark. Mm, Lady Dark. Yes. Let me take this out of the bag. Because I do want to uh, make give a shout out to the writer and everything like that. So first of all, the creator and the writer of Lady Dark is Eric Radvon. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, sir. Don't want to butcher that because I trust me. I have had people butcher my name, and I'm probably I have probably the most easiest last name in the entire world, Bennett. But I've had people say Benet, Barnett, and I'm like, there's no, there's no R or A. Benet, you know, it's not French, you know, it's no. So, yeah, trust me. So I don't like butchering people's name. Um, it's just me being respectful. But yeah, um, Eric uh, Radvon, he he does the, he is the um, the writer, and we have several different artists. We have Samir uh, Samo. Samoa, I hope I'm saying the name right, there's, there's also Gabriel Espico Santos, and we have uh, another one, because uh, there's three stories in this, and also uh, Ross Taylor, Ross Taylor, so yes, um, and also Eric had the uh, pleasure and honor of uh, signing it, issue number one, it's cool. I like when. Um, so, what is Lady Dark about? First of all, she looks evil, right? Wrong. She ain't evil. <laughs> so, basically, the story is about a young woman. Her name is Lauren Lennox, and she is a part of a family, a bloodline that they gain this power. It's passed down from generation to generation. It's a, it's a family trait. And their job is to protect the world against this the beast. And I'm not talking about Satan. What we're talking about is uh, called the beast. And we have seen, and Lennox is the latest in the line of the dark power. Because that's their real name, Lennox is not their real name. Their real name is Dark. Now, in the beginning, she's a high school student. She is, you know, going like, you know, any typical high school student. You know, she's she's a part of the drama club. She has a best friend. She kind of kind of zones out a lot of time in class and she doesn't really care. She walks out of school <laughs> when she just feels like it. She's like, well, I'm, I'm done, I'm, I'm going home. Her family lives in like a spooky house at the edge of the, uh, this town that they live in, uh, I think they not remember the town. Um, it's, I, I know the town's name. It's called Slate City. Cool to have a, a made up city. But um, it's it's really cool. There's even some scenes in here that give homage to certain characters. Like, you can't tell me that doesn't look like Batman from The Dark Knight or spawn things like that the artwork is really good um i like her power set um it's almost like she can manifest weapons like as you can see here she can manifest like a mace where she's and they could disappear and and she could use this this power is called obsidian flame and she she could like teleport and stuff it's really cool i like it and it's that power that she's able to do kind of things with it and we see her, you know, she's she's like, you know, she has visions about the beast and, you know, 
and here she is with the, the, the I'll show you a picture of her. She lives with her, here's, she's having that vision, this is where she's having a vision at lunch. It's crazy, and people just like, oh God, and like, and she has to play it off like, oh, it's okay, I'm, I'm, I'm all right. Um, but here she is walking down her neighborhood and people are just saying hi. And she's just like, these are good people here. You know, these are the people that I'm, I'm protecting. And here's her home. <laughs> like I said, it's the scary home down the block. And she's, you know, she talks about, you know, the it's called the Lennox Dark House. Um, but again, their their name is Dark. Their Lennox is their maiden name. I think of her mother. Because her parents have gone missing as well. And there's her, her butler, James. And then, of course, she got her grandmother. And her grandmother's like, oh, well, dear, your grandfather wants to talk to you. And, you know, she goes on to say, well, my grandfather's not really dead nor alive. And she goes through this, like this mirror. And then she sees her grandfather. Like, he's in a paradox or so. It's really interesting. I was just like, okay. But it's really good. This was fun. Um, not as not a lot of action. It was more. Eric really gets down to the reader, me, and whoever else has read this, getting to know the character, getting to know her family. And I love storytelling like this, where a hero is, or a heroine is. It's a foundation of a bloodline, like it's passed down from generation to generation. That's why I love like the Phantom classic characters like. Pope Eric Hill's like the Phantom. That's passed down from the Walker bloodline. Passed down, passed down from generation, from son to son. Um, there's a couple other characters, but it's passed down. Even to some degree, hell spawns. You know, there have been different various hell spawns throughout the history. Even ghost riders. There, there have been different ghost riders throughout the history of, you know, so I love storytelling like this where it's passed down and the latest generation is maybe younger and she's still adapting to her power. And you know, you get to see that. And that's the first story. Then the second story, um, and then of course we get to see um, this organization that is somewhat bringing back the beast. Then we go to another story where we get to see the fourth, the fourteenth member of the the uh, Lord Dark, uh, or that's what they were called instead of Lady Dark, Lord Dark. Uh, but this is one of uh, Laura's descendants. Uh, his name is Deacon Dark, and here you see him. He's fighting the Beast. Does look like Satan, just a bigger Satan, and he his his battle and how he is able to smite. The, I mean, he, I'm talking like, you can tell like this is Knight Aaron, you know, 15th century, 14th century, 8th century. So it's, I will smite thee down and everything. Like, it's really cool. I love that stuff. And then, of course, we get another version of that's set in the future, in a possible future. So, yeah, and that's, this is written by, uh, uh, Ross Ross uh, Taylor a showdown in Neo Slate City. So there, I like the different stories of showcasing like just how long this could go on, possibly go on, and the beast will always comes back. It's that's the thing. They always say no matter how many times the Lord Darks or the Lady Darks destroy, kill this this beast, it always returns in a different form, and it's up to them to keep the world safe. That's good storytelling. I like that. This was really good for the first issue. I am looking forward to um, the second uh, part. I will leave the link in the description down below of the Kickstarter descript uh, uh, link where you can go if you want to join the Kickstarter. The link will be in the description down below where you can, because issue two is in Kickstarter right now. And of course, if you're behind, yeah, you can get the Kickstarter for the second. Um, this was fun. I really enjoyed this, Eric. Um, if you're possibly listening, sir, this was fun. I really like this. This is good. I always am a big supporter of indie indie books. Even, like I said, you hear my slogan from the beginning. From the highest of highs to the lowest of lows. In 
and everything around. I, I, I love supporting. I am, I'm not here to toot my own, but I have backed over 300 plus, you know, you know, Kickstarters, and I love doing it. It's just, you know, even I have so many Kickstarters that's not even physical, like they're digital. So I will get to those too. But this was fun. This is really good. Um, Eric, Mr. Radvon, um, this was good. And every all their art artists behind it, y'all did a good job on this. This boy from New York enjoyed it very much. I'm looking forward to keeping it going uh, and seeing where Laura goes next. But in the meantime, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys are will be interested in checking out Eric's Lady Dark. I know the name kind of suits. Oh, she's a bad. Oh, that's 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 terrible. You know, she's she's terrible. She's a villain. That name should. But she's not. She's not bad. She's she's a good guy. She's a defender, just with a kind of dark name. You, you get it. You get it. Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. This was Indie Showcase. I'll see you guys next time with some more. What is up next? Like I said, I'm going to always preview what's next on Indie Showcase. Next on Indie Showcase will be <sighs> Chris Thomas Mall, Last Force versus Treble Fury. In the meantime, you guys take care. Deuces.